Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. This video, recorded on July 2nd, is the three-year anniversary of this YouTube channel. I, some of you may know this, but I started actually June 2nd, but the actual birthday of the channel is July 2nd, and it's really cool. Three years sticking to something is really nice, right? So, lo long time ago, I would say, um... Not necessarily two years ago. I think it was actually two, a year ago, year and a half. It was a year and a half ago. I learned that most YouTubers actually take five years before they actually start getting anywhere with their channel, right? So five years of just constantly making videos or improving their thumbnails, you know, just spending time with it. So I was like, okay, I'll just do five years and figure it out at the, you know, at the end of five years. And we're three years in and I'm already starting to figure it out. And it's really cool watching my channel get taken to the next level. And there's a couple ways that I've been doing that. One of which is actually starting to build my own kind of thumbnail theme, if you will. You know, with the the font, I think you guys have figured out I really like that font, the Bada Boom font. That's pretty much in every single thumbnail at this point that has a font to begin with. And, you know, with the with, with you know me figuring out thumbnails, I also figured out after like two years that my camera was too saturated, right? You guys see this? This is what the normal color of my room look like. looks like. I'm gonna like up, this is what it used to look like, right? It looks beautiful, right? Look at my red lips. Like this is not what I look like. I don't look like a Californian. I look like I live in Washington, which is about uh, right here, right? So this is what I actually look like. I'm very, very white. Actually, I'm probably a little more tan than this. I don't know, I'll figure it out. That looks about right. We'll leave it at that. So. With the, you know, just the experiences I've learned year three have been really cool. One of which is I stopped stressing out about YouTube almost completely. Some of you may have noticed, but I haven't been uploading daily anymore. And the reason why I was uploading daily was because of the whole algorithm likes it, right? And I, I really learned once my tutorials on Oblivion started gaining traction, the only thing that affected my success was if I made another one, right? I could upload all the videos I wanted. It would kind of work, but it was just the way it was. I couldn't affect my success that much. So I was like, oh, you know, I don't need to stress out about this. And I'm really like the videos I've been making now, I'm really proud of. And I think they're really well thought out a lot better than what I used to do, which is this kind of video, but every day. And trust me, every day making a video like this sucks. Another thing I started doing was let's play type things again. And I, I you know, I used to be really anti let's play because I thought it was lazy. But then I realized that, you know, it's OK to do something that maybe you see as not the thing to do or not the right, you know, not the best piece of content in the world, because I know that, you know, my audience really wanted to see that. So I made it and it's for them. It'll be there. The, the Shivering Isles Let's Play. And it really, I don't know, like, I realized that I had been caring too much about my content. I've been overthinking the topics, what I wanted to do, you know. And it's really weird looking back at this last year and realizing that a lot of my hard work was really for just learning that I don't have to work as hard as I was. It, it's really kind of weird thinking about that, all that wasted time. It looks like wasted time, but in reality, it's a lesson learned. So my goal for my fourth year of doing YouTube is very simple, and that is to enjoy it more and stress out less. Make the videos that I want to make, because I hadn't been doing that. I'd been sticking to my topic. I started vlog of a small YouTuber. I started my Let's Play. I started just making whatever videos I wanted, playing the games I wanted, you know, I changed over to DLive for about six months. Then I came back to here for live streaming because, you know, I cryptocurrency stuff, I'm not going to get into it. Cryptocurrency is very subjective, very almost political level cryptocurrency is right now, quite strange. But it's really been a cool watching the community grow and watching, in terms of the analytics, I have achieved something that, a couple goals that I set a long time ago for myself when I actually cared about my analytics which was I wanted a passive subscriber growth where I gained, when I cared about analytics a lot, is gaining, just uploading videos, not having to try, and still gaining more and more and more subscribers, which I'm doing now. It's pretty cool. 
The other thing is I wanted to make about a dollar a day on YouTube. And I got monetized a week ago and I am making about 75 cents to a dollar a day on YouTube. And it's really cool to think about that because that means that, you know, I made $75 since um, I started my YouTube channel. That means that next month I get paid for the first time from YouTube around that time. It's pretty cool to think about that. Already I'm starting to, you know, start making just the passive AdSense money. I don't care about AdSense money, but it's still cool to see that I'm going to get some of it. And of course, you know, from doing stuff on YouTube and doing things off of YouTube and broadening my horizons, I figured out Amazon, which is really cool. I'm going to spend a lot of time on Amazon. So, you know, it, it'll be nice to see in the next year what I do with the channel. Because I, I, I've tried to predict, you know, without saying it in a video, my every about six two months to a year, I try to predict what I'm going to be like. Um, later on and the only thing that I've successfully predicted is that I look back on myself a year or two years ago like I'm 19 now I look back on my 18 year old self and it's like yep it's pretty cringy pretty not good compared to me now and that's the only actually successful thing that I've predicted is that I'll look back on myself and be like yep I learned a lot and I started that when I was 17 when I was 17 I was like when I'm 18 I'm gonna look back at 17 and be like yep I changed a lot and it has that has been the case for two years in a row now, which is excellent. So hopefully this year is great. You know, I think I want to shoot for a 10,000 subscriber channel size this year. I really want to go hard because even though I haven't been you know, uploading these past few months because I'm like, oh, it's kind of stressful. At the same time, I want to push myself to do harder things and the subscriber growth if any of you are, are very experienced youtubers you know that subscriber growth is based on planning in here being creative and not so much just grinding it out so i'm shooting for the 10 10k let's see what happens next second of july if that happens I'm gonna blow my mind 10k is a lot of people that also means i can monetize the channel too and get some sponsorships and then just worry about stuff less try out new video games one of the things that i really don't like is that when people are like hey you should do stuff about this game it's like well, i can't afford it so we'll see but that's it for this video guys three years down the pipeline two more to go before i want to be successful not a lot of time left to start being successful well successful up here i'm already right here you know i pretty much passed you know i i went over a lot of giving up type bumps and i passed a lot of people will not make it to this point, and a lot of people quit at about this point, too. So, I say, welcome me to the 1% of people that make it here, and let's hope I can beat them out to make it to the point one percent of people that stick with YouTube for five years. We'll see about that, but I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. Guys, I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you for a whole nother year of me sitting in front of a camera, acting like a retard on the internet. That's what I tell my family. They're like, Can I film you? I act like a retard on the internet every day. It's fine. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stream. I don't really do steaming anymore. Next episode, stream, vlog, whatever I decide to make.